Hey guys, Silver Patron here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Last time we got the Dark Burst. This time we'll hopefully be getting the Annihilator Beams charge combo. I checked and I didn't see any indication for. Nope. 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 What we want to do in here is we want to do this. I didn't see any indication of the Dark. Uh, the Dark Suit does apparently have a damage reduction. I didn't see much of an indication for the Light Suit, however. That there. Made a Denzium. Problem solved. As we destroy priceless bits of Luminoth history. To get a power bomb expansion. But really, it's their fault for making their artifacts out of explosives. Why does it feel like there's something around me now? Oh, there are sandbags. Okay. Um, I can't actually make that because that's too high. So I gotta jump back here and then take the kinetic orb cannon across. But yeah, it's like it's not Samus's fault everything blows up around her. It's their fault for making it with explosives. I mean, really, you think you would understand that maybe we shouldn't make our priceless artifacts out of explosives. It's not really that difficult of a concept, I don't think it is. It? Wow. I don't think it's that difficult of a concept. Conce concept words. It's also not that difficult of a word. We are back in this room. You should be a scan. You are a scan. You are a key bearer. This is a spider ball track. Because spider ball track. And, um, not really much else for us to do in here except go back up this elevator, which is right next to where we came down. Now, the power up we want to get is in the one back room. As soon as I find the door. The one back room. Map over here should be because we got the green door there and if we look at the dark world which is this button you can see that it is an annihilator door I think we want to go through the annihilator door so it's the dark world um, uh, we need to we want to get that green door anyway so I'll just I'll get that first because yeah um, how do I how do I get over there this is how I get over there I was just looking at the map I should hopefully remember how to go place it's actually probably for the best that I'm going to completely loop around anyway because there will be doors like this where I can do a thing now. Can I just destroy you with a normal missile? Yes, I can. There will be doors over here where I can do a thing. Doing a thing is kind of useful. Don't want, I didn't want to do that thing though. What I want to do is up there. I can get up there. I know I can get up there. Yes, I can. And now I want to get up into this part. And there should be a scan in here. We're going to be passing so much stuff on the way. Um, are you a scan? You're not important. Are you important? You are invincible, I believe. Seek alternate entry. So we just want to do this thing. And I I should have already scanned this. Okay, good. That's just... It's a different morph ball slot scan. Come on. Do I need to power you up first? Yes, I need to... The, it was red to tell me that it wasn't powered. I'm smart. Activating that will drain the sand out of there. Which gives us access to another power-up. Yay, power-ups. So now we just need to go back through here. Grab this power-up over here. Should be missiles. Missiles are useful. And now we just need to continue advancing. Uh, so many power-ups. So little time. And now this should take us to a save room. Actually, I believe there's a scan in here I missed. Yep, right there. Right there. Pirate lore. Get in the pirate lore. And moving on. Into this room. Uh, we can completely ignore this room's puzzle now because we disabled the lasers on our last time through here. Bringing us back to the puzzle room of previous Metroid. Metroids! Metroids! We need to scan these. These are normal Metroids. Ow. Metroid latches onto you. You power bomb. Since the dark beam acts a lot like the ice beam, in theory this should work. I think. Yep. 
freezes, we just have to use a charge shot to freeze the Metroids. Because a normal shot will not do enough damage. There should be one more Metroid hunting me. And now he's not. Alright, so now what we, we need to do is we need to raise the platforms up again, which I think is this. Yep, raises them up again. Um, can I spaceball jump to that? Spaceball jump. Can I screw attack to that? I believe I can. And then we can just screw attack over here. And this is super missiles. And it should just be a missile upgrade. Yep, just a missile upgrade. Nothing too fancy, but pretty easy to get, and it's more missiles. Explosives are always good. There's like 250 max, 255, 260, something like that. I could see any of those numbers being... Oh, I, could, I would see 250 or 255 being more accurate than 260. 260 is just a weird number. Just like how 27 is the level cap in Paper Mario. I mean, really, 27, that's just such an arbitrary number. Then again, I think the power bombs have an arbitrary number for the maximum amount there. Uh, I think it's 11. It might be 10, and 10 would make sense, but I think it's 11. And, come on. I think I went too far. What I need to do is actually go back. And then this one? Yes, right here. Haha, -ha, tricky. Tricky, but I'm trickier. No! Open mouth, insert foot, repeat. Alright then, let's just do this again. I wasn't being cocky that time, game. You could have given it to me. Uh, this is why we do not mock our games. And all skill I once had has gone out the window. <laughs> I have skill. That's the best joke I've had in a long... I've heard in a long time. Uh, skill doesn't exist. What am I talking about? Get over to here... Over to here. And now over to here. And this was probably all meant to get over to the... Yep, it was. Well then. I just wasted everybody's time. Hope you guys don't mind. Just gonna waste y'all time. But that's what I do here. Alright, let's move on. We gotta go to the Dark World now to actually get the power up I want to get. Because Dark World... We haven't even gotten any keys yet. Uh, this is a shopping spree. This room doesn't need to exist. This room just does not need to exist. There should be more Metroids in here, yes. Metroids, break the door. Oh yeah, this is where I got a scan before. I think I mentioned it. Metroids. You know what? Power bomb. All the Metroids die forever due to power bomb. Um, if memory serves, there should actually be Metroid cocoons in this room as well, with larval Metroids. I could be mistaken. Did I ever open this door? Did I ever open this door? No, I did not. Huh. So that's a missile expansion I could have had a long time ago. But I have it now, so what does it matter? Um... Hmm. And there's a Metroid right there, who dies like so. And another one right here. Metroids, despite the threat they are supposed to actually be, they die very simply. I will just completely mess up my attempt to look cool. Because that's what I do. Despite the fact that like Metroids drive the plot of these games, like Samus is the only hunter capable of really dealing with Metroids and everything else. They are really jokes to take down, though, because... Freeze, and then Missile. Like, in Prime 2, it's a bit of a nuisance because you have to Dark Beam Charge to freeze them. Or you can just Power Bomb them, but Dark Beam Freeze to... Dark Beam Charge to freeze them, words. But in previous, or in other games, it'd just be like a single Ice Beam shot, and they're frozen. Missiles. 
Granted, the original games took five missiles apiece, whereas here it's just a single missile. And I have those scans. I have those scans. I have those scans. Whereas here it's just a single single missile apiece, which is convenient. Everything blows up with a single missile, just shatters. I'm rambling on now. I don't even know what I'm rambling about. Oh, there should be a key in this room. Because there should be... Uh, Dark Pizer? Yes, I can see now. There should be, like, water or something. Am I already in the water? No, this was just poison. There's nothing in this room. I am disappointed. There's something in a room on the other side of the map, though, so we'll be able to get the thing there. But yeah, now the Dark World is, like, even safer for Samus once she has the... Did I scan you? Yes, I did. Once she has the uh, light beam, because it's just... Oh, hey, you heal in the beacons, and you don't take damage outside of them. Oh, come on. You're gonna be that guy. Three super missile hits. Yeah, he, he's that guy. Granted, Phazon still hurts. And so do these Metroids. But they still die to a power bomb, so... You might also be able to freeze them as well. I haven't actually checked, and I don't really feel like checking right now. I can clear this. If I jumped properly, I could clear that. Uh, what happened to my skills? What happened to my jumping skills? This is jump and shoot. All I need to do is jump and shoot. And occasionally turn into a little ball. It's not that complicated. But Annihilator Beam Door, and our reward for this one is the other charge beam combo. The most useless one ever made because the sheer cost. This is the Sonic Boom. And um, I suppose I should show it off before I leave. I suppose I should also show off the Dark Burst. Yay, I've unlocked the special ending by collecting 75% of the upgrades. I don't have enough ammo to do the Dark Burst at once. So um, I guess I'll show that off when I have ammo and I remember. So until next time, guys, this has been Silver Torin with Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. We got the Dark Burst last time. We got the Sonic Boom this time. Next time, we should be key hunting. You can't touch this, Metroid. Deal with it. I'll see you guys all then. Later. Door work for me.